there's something rather unusual about the sheep of North Ronaldsay. In fact, they're unique. As the tide goes out, it's lunchtime, and they come down onto the beach to feast on seaweed. While they're not the only sheep that eat the marine plants, they are thought to be the only breed for which it makes up most of their diet. That's because of the history here, where islanders built a wall or dike to keep the animals on the seashore, as sheep farmer Sinclair Scott explains. There was no spare grass anywhere on this island, even when I was a boy. They didn't have room for sheep, and gradually the sheep got pushed out and decks got built and they gradually extended all the way around the island. A necessity for centuries, now the flock's diet is being used as inspiration in the fight against climate change. Scientists at the James Hutton Institute in Dundee are investigating whether a seaweed diet can reduce the amount of methane animals produce. An organic compound found in the plants is thought to disrupt methane production. Sheep and cow belchers might sound like a small issue, but the greenhouse effect of methane is 25 times stronger than that of carbon dioxide. And at the scale of global livestock production, that's a big problem. The scientists are adding seaweed to animal feed and monitoring the results, but there's a long way to go. The main thing at the moment is we need to absolutely prove, one, which seaweed is going to be the best for this, what amount of seaweed into the feed gives the best effect, and then can you scale that up to a level where you would actually have an effect on the overall UK farming. Back in the north of the Orkney Isles, the industries which brought hundreds of people here in the 18th and 19th centuries have long moved away. Keeping the dikes in good repair is getting more difficult, but it's still just as important for the welfare of the sheep because they've become so well adapted to the seaweed. After the sheep had been excluded for many years, then they found that they couldn't cope with being on grass, long grass, all the time. So sheep that have gone from here to England and places like that had a habit of dying. Keeping the sheep on the foreshore is important for another reason too. A seaweed diet gives their meat a distinctive flavour, making it much sought after. It's even been served to the Queen. So whatever the outcome of the climate change research, it's hoped that North Ronaldsay's traditions can continue for generations to come.